What's up, fam? It's your boy Serato back at you one more time again. And I know we had a little bit of a delay here. Um, Christmas time was unexpectedly like really insane for me. So videos out was just impossible for a little bit. Um, but we are back on it now. Um, so make sure you like this video if you like it. You know, hit the bell, do the whole shebang. You know what to do. Um, and of course, today we are doing the long-awaited uh, Juice World tribute piece. Um, <laughs> was one of my uh, favorite new artists uh, um, especially the early stuff and it's unfortunate that we're not gonna get to hear too much more stuff from him you know assuming they don't have like you know a whole XXX like eight album catalog like sitting there ready for us but uh you know I'm gonna assume we're not gonna hear too much so you know I don't want to do too much talking on this one I'm just gonna get it right into it so uh, we're working with a pair of classic Air Force Ones for this one and we're gonna be giving these pairs away on my Instagram so grab these I'm gonna give you a better look at the Air Forces and then we can get right into it This once hoop shoe was named after Air Force One, the aircraft carrier that carries the U.S. President. In 1982, it was the first basketball shoe to house Nike Air, revolutionizing the game while rapidly gaining traction around the world, from the hardwood to the blacktop to the core of hip hop culture. Today, the Air Force One stays true to its roots with soft, springy cushioning, but the Nike Air technology takes a back seat to the shoe's status as an icon. So of course the first step is we gotta grab our shoes here and we're gonna need to go ahead and start pulling all the laces out, you know the deal. Take the laces out, stuff the shoe, take these bad boys off the back end here and then go ahead and start cleaning and getting rid of all this extra uh, fuzz from the lace, uh, from, not from the laces, from the stitching. Uh, get rid of all this extra stitching fuzz and then clean up this dirty uh, under, under swoosh area here that uh, clearly needs to get cleaned off before we start painting. First step is to go ahead and grab the iPad and then go ahead and try to see if you can find some reference material images for Juice World. Uh, not sure the exact concept I want to go with. I'm thinking simplistic for this one. Uh, I don't want to be doing too much, but uh. Some maybe a little galaxy sort of style, a little bit like a low toned down version. Just to see if we can do something a little low key, but still cool. My bad, I had to change real quick. Now we're gonna go ahead and uh, print out the reference materials of our Juice World portrait pieces, and then I'm gonna go ahead and size those to the shoe, make sure everything fits, and then do the stencils, and then actually tape the shoe up to start painting. Now we got all that taping done, I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, portrait printouts here, cut them up, do the outline, mask that over so we can do the background, and then go ahead and lay down the stencils across the front toe box here, and then cover that off so we can go ahead and put our uh, slightly galaxy style background in the back here.
American Express Halftime Report is brought to you by American Express, the official card of the NBA. All right, now it's time to remove the masking on the portraits, put our portrait details in, and then go ahead and paint them in. portrait sections um, that's the pretty much the hard part we're gonna go ahead and finish off the galaxy with a little bit of lightning accent we're gonna need to pull the masking tape off to do this and then we're gonna go ahead and put our uh, rest in peace dates on the back heels and finish the shoe up mm -hmm. 